So far, all the videos in this series have been about using the World Edit mod to level up your Minecraft creative building. But in this video, we're going to be branching out to look at one of the most important building plugins for creative servers, Plot Squared. What is it? Well, it looks something like this. When added to a server, it generates an infinite plot world and allows players to claim their own private building area where they can create freely without interference from other players. So here are some essential commands that I would highly recommend that you learn to improve your experience on creative servers in the future. Because this is a server-side plugin, you don't need to install any mods. All you need is your Java account and a server to join. If you're looking for a creative server to join, feel free to hop on my server, Low Res Builds. The IP address is in the description. Now, once you've joined a server, you need to tell it that you want to claim a plot. We can do this two different ways. Firstly, if we type slash plot auto, we will be automatically assigned a random plot somewhere in the world. This is a great way to get started. If you want to choose a specific plot to build in, for example, next to a friend, you would first check that the plot is unclaimed. You can identify this by the border color. Most servers will have different colored borders for claimed and unclaimed plots. Here I can see that the light gray border means that it is unclaimed. So I will fly over the plot and type slash plot claim. The border has now changed to white, a sign with my name on it has been added, and this plot is now mine. Also note, for most of these commands, you must be standing inside the plot when issuing the command, otherwise the plugin won't know what you're doing. This specific plot is 75 by 75 blocks. Each server will have different dimensions depending on how the admin set it up, but today, I'm feeling like building big, so 75 by 75 just isn't big enough. This brings us to our next command. If you claim plots directly adjacent to one another, you can merge them into one big plot. To do this, I need to stand inside one of the plots that I own, and while looking at the plot I want to merge with, type the command slash plot merge. The server now identifies this as one single plot, so any changes you make from here will affect both areas. To disconnect the plots, we use the command plot unlink. This will separate the plots and reinstate the road through the middle. If your build spanned across both plots, the road will cut a path through, so be very careful when using this command because it cannot be undone. If your build just isn't working how you wanted it to and you want to start fresh, you can use the plot clear command. This will wipe all blocks from the plot, so again, be very careful when using this one. And now for the most dangerous command of them all, plot delete. As the name suggests, this will clear the plot and remove your ownership, restoring it back to an unclaimed plot. As I mentioned earlier, if you have merged plots together, they are now considered one single plot. So if you use this command, it will delete all of them, not just the one that you're standing in. Now we're going to move into some plot customization commands. These plots all have grass as the floor block, which is a very familiar starting place for most players. As we know from survival Minecraft, different biomes have different colored grass, which we can change here in our plot with plot set biome, and then the biome that you want. I'm going to choose jungle, and now I have nice lush green grass. It doesn't need to be grass related though, you can change it to a basalt delta biome and get a wintry snowy effect. The choice is yours. Say we didn't want grass as the floor, well we can easily change that with plot set floor and then use any block that we want. This can be really helpful if you want something neutral to make choosing colors easier. There are a few other options available to you here, I'd recommend just running the command slash plot set and then try out what each one does and whether or not it's useful to your process. There are some other really unique customization commands we can do using something called plot flags. If we do slash plot flag, we can see a whole range of different options here. If we choose time, we can now set a unique time in our plot which we can use to enhance our build. Because the plot you've claimed is yours, other players cannot interact with it, but you can add your friends if you want to build together. The first way to do this is by doing plot add and then your friend's in-game name. This will allow them to build in the plot and use world edit while you're online. To give them access to build when you're offline, you can use plot trust and then again, the in-game name. Be very careful with this though and only add people that you trust and want building in your plot. To remove a person's access from your plot, you can use the command plot remove and then their name. Lastly, if you manage to get lost on a plot server, you can use slash plot visit and then your name to find your way back. By putting a number after that, like 2 or 3, etc, it'll cycle through all your plots in the order that you claimed them until you find the one that you're looking for. You can also use other players' names in this command to visit their plots and check out what they've been working on. I hope this helps you on your building journey. Check out my server if you want to experiment with any of these features, or check out this playlist for more Minecraft building tutorials.